guys, I hope you're doing well today. This is going to be my finale for my finished 5 by Fall seasonal project pan. This was started up again by Kristen K here on YouTube as well as the Daisy Girly or Stephanie. Definitely got to check them out. They are such awesome project panners and YouTubers and they're both so sweet. And I did update maybe about two weeks ago at this point, give or take. I still had three products left, but I had finished, I believe, four of them. I had some buffer items just to see if I could finish, so I would have a total of five. And I did finish two items, and I have one left. So let's get into it, and I can share with you my progress and the products that I finished, and we'll see what I have left. I'll talk briefly about the products I finished. I'm not going to give, like, major reviews because I have talked about them in my Project Pan updates and my empties videos. So the first one is... Is my fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. This one is in the scent Beach Night Summer Marshmallow and for this project I started here and I believe I finished this in the first update. I loved this spray. It was one of my favorite Bath and Body Works scents. It just smells like marshmallows and definitely would repurchase anything in this scent. I did finish this lip balm. This is the Lip Goddess 24 karat gold lip balm and this was a lip balm with little gold flecks in it. Retails for like $10 so I would not purchase this but it is a pretty good lip balm. I believe I finished these two last update and this is the Touch and Soul Metallus Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. This was the glitter part. All done. As you can see there you might be able to see a little bit up top. This was just a really pretty champagne -y glitter and this was the cream and it had a really weird applicator as you can see here. Not really sure what that is, but this was a really nice champagne -y color. It was glittery without having too much fallout, and I really like these products. I would consider purchasing one of the full sizes of the Touch and Soul Metallus Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos. And now on to the three products that I had in my previous update left. I actually finished two products. So the first one that I finished was this Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer, and I had started up here. And then I think I was around down here or so, and then I finished it. A lot of the products had dried up inside. It just got really sticky and hard to work with, but I did pump out the rest that could be pumped out at the bottom. That was more fresh product. This was a deluxe sample, and I wouldn't repurchase it because Lorac isn't cruelty-free, but it was a really good eye primer if you're interested or have these laying around in your collection. Next, I have this Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Deluxe Sample Mascara. I finished this one as well. Here is what the wand looks like. It's super thin and tiny. And this was great for the bottom lashes. It really did nothing for my top lashes, so I just mixed it with my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And honestly, I didn't like the way it looked mixed with it. I'd rather just wear this on my bottom lash line. But Makeup Forever isn't cruelty-free, unfortunately, and I wouldn't purchase this mascara, but it is a really good lower lash mascara if you have a sample of this. It's just nothing special for your upper lashes. And finally, for the product that I still have, this is the only product I didn't finish. This is my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I usually go through around two of these a year. I'm going to insert a picture from my previous update. And here's where we're at now. So a little bit of progress. I widened the pan a little bit and I worked on this side, but this just has so much product in it. It's hard to finish up in a project, I think, unless you have like not that much left. I like this concealer, but I am kind of sick of it. This is like the third or fourth one that I've used, and I want to try out more concealers. I really am interested in the Too Faced Born This Way and the Tarte Shape Tape. I might pick up those concealers when I finish this one, but Max not cruelty free as well, so definitely not going to purchase this again. And it's a good full coverage concealer. I will probably finish this this year, but I didn't finish it in this project. So that was all my products for my finished 5 by Fall project pan. I ended up finishing six products, and I had seven in this project, so I only have one left. And I'm happy with how I did. I was able to finish more than five products. I wish I could have finished the MAC concealer just so I can try another one, but I'm glad I have it around for a while because it is a good concealer, and I know it's going to last me a while. Thank you to Stephanie and Kristen for starting this project up again. I hope you guys do check them out. They are awesome. If you guys are interested, I am having a giveaway on my channel. It is ending soon-ish. It's ending on September 27th, and I'm filming this on September 21st, so definitely get your entries in if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.